Now for the second method to introduce the wilderness, air orbs. But before we start, if you're not comfortable being in the wilderness, even at lower levels, making water orbs is equally as profitable, just a few GP cheaper than airs. Also the fire altar is right there. This will require a dungeoneering cape for the Taverly Hellhounds, but that option is there if you have that cape. To start, we're going to need the completion of the Wilderness Hard Diaries and either the Wilderness Sword itself for the Edgeville Teleport or the Slayer Cape for the Wilderness Slayer Master. Any cheap air staff or wand with infinite air runes will do and 27 unpowered orbs and 81 cosmics. Make sure to make this into a preset. When ready, head into level 6 Wilderness and use the shortcut. Teleport once finished, rinse and repeat. As you can see, this took a little under 2.5 minutes. With that said, let's go ahead and check the loot from 1 hour. So I processed 747 air orbs, which sold for 3.5 mil. Was this profitable? Let's check the numbers. Now the experience was not great. And here's the cost of all the materials. So let's go ahead and just reduce the cost of the materials. And we end up with a profit of 2.3 mil per hour. Now as far as AFK money goes, this is pretty good. Just go ahead and evaluate whether this is worth it for you, considering it's in the wilderness. Now for a method everyone and their grandmother knows, telegrabbing wines of Zamorak. Now there's not much I could say about it really, it's just telegrabbing the wines. But I did find it interesting that the monks would pile you. I guess it's to discourage low level botters or something. But the piling, this ended up being the biggest factor for losing time. As you have to surge away and out of their sight and wait. To be out of combat to hop. With that said, there's really not much more I could see. Let's check the results after half an hour. I ended up collecting 51, which so which they do sell for 10k each, so fair play. So I ended up making 510k for 30 minutes, which I guess means about a mil per hour. Now the GP isn't the worst thing out there, but if you look at this as purely a free to play method, uh, it's not so bad. I would look elsewhere for GP, as I'm personally not really a fan of hopping worlds. While I've never been into PvP, I knew all too well how important the Karambolans were for tick eating. Nowadays, especially with overloads, we moved on to Ceridomen Brew, but there still might be a market for these. Let's go ahead and try. So here's the variables, the vessel being the unique item here. Gear up and head to the fairy codes. I recommend the Tokozo ring for instant bank and the quick teleport. And head on over to the coordinate CKR. My experience went a little something like this. You gotta do an annoying quest to fish them in the first place. You need special bait to even start. You can't even purchase the bait. You can't store them in your familiar. The bait spots are far apart and they deplete very easily. The vessel doesn't automatically fill slash use any of the bait. Usage of the bait isn't consistent, most of the time being one. Making the amount of bait you carry feel random. The Shiacon keeps staring at me, but hey, at least you can store the Karambwans in your familiar. But unfortunately they only sold for 85 GB or 1.1k if you cook them. In the end I didn't test this method as I hope you can understand why.
Now for probably the highest skill requirement method so far. This requires 80 magic and a decent starter cash. The string jewelry on the lunar spellbook. So I went ahead and I bought 5k astrals and some dominant amulets. With no idea how much you could process for the hour, I'm going in blind. Made a quick preset and started. Let's skip ahead and see the results of one hour. Looks like I made 1.7k amulets. Now for some reason, I lost the clips selling the amulets, boo, but I still have the numbers written down so it's all fine. We gained 146k magic experience. Now this one kind of surprised me as usually this is sort of experience you'd see from like a high level slayer task or something. This is definitely good experience once you consider it is skilling. Here's the cost of all the materials, 4.8 mil, definitely a costly one. But guess what? All the amulets sold for 5.6 mil. I like to look at this spell as the next level of high alchemy, but better. Both of them make you money, but this one's automated, more experience, and you don't have to hunt around for items that may or not sell under the high alchemy value. Now as nostalgic as I want to be, I will not be slaying the black dragons in Lost City. You know, where you use the raw chicken on the statue. Instead I'll be heading to the Taverly dungeon. As you can see here, it all took a quick dungeon cape teleport. My only cost for the method will be a few doses of super anti-fire, which is almost, for almost forgettable at the end. What surprised me of this method was, there's still people doing this. Or their bots, I'm not entirely sure. So let's check the loot from one hour. 2.4 mil. And of course, the profit comes mostly from the hides and bones. And it all pretty sold for that much. <laughs> 